Hello and good morning to you. This is my Goddess Bootcamp report number two. I'm two weeks into it. The first week was absolutely fantastic. I had uh, some wonderful successes. Got up every morning very early, did a lot of walking, did a lot of healthy eating, did a lot of meditation, journaling, all those things that I had on my to-do list. And then the funny thing is that you might remember me saying that, that actually my computer stopped working when I had made the commitment to myself to be very low key with technology. And so the funny thing is as soon as I got my computer back, which was like five days later, and it was a really good time period for me. And then what happened is I bent over that evening and when I came back up, I had twitched a nerve. So that was very interesting that then essentially I spent the next few days on my back with a lot of time to meditate, to think, to watch inspiring movies and listen to inspiring CDs. And it was just so hilarious to me the whole time to know that this is happening because I really just needed to chill out and take care of myself. So lots of yoga and of course keeping up the wonderful food and the nourishment. So that was really, really hilarious. So I'm a lot better now. My back is working again. I'm back out walking again and I'm enjoying the beautiful weather that we have here right now. It's getting pretty hot the next few days, so I make sure I get out early. And I had some pretty big learning lessons. So one of the biggest ones is about what is a boot camp? What does it really stand for? What is the tradition of it? And then how can I map that over into my own personal experience with what I'm doing here? Because the whole point is that I do want to accomplish something in these three months. And it's not on the general level of having my to-do list, my goal list of the things that I want to accomplish on the level of relationships, business, my health, um, my career and my lifestyle. Now, this is about doing the inner work so that when I do go back out into the world, I can do all of these things in a new way because now with 50 years old, lots of changes going on and me really wanting to step into that next phase in my life in the most empowered and best way possible so that I can serve the world in a much, much larger capacity. So that's what this is all about. And what I realized is in order to do that congruently, we need drills. We need exercises, we need practices. Some people call them devotions. And that's one of the things that I've been playing with. How is it when I do really dedicate every day to doing meditation in a way that I have creative visualizations, that I give thanks, that there is some kind of movement involved with it, that I really dedicate some time to it. How about me journaling every day? So for example, in the last two weeks, I've written over 200, uh, sorry, I've written over 120 pages by now, just in insights that I had, in patterns that I came up with that I wrote down, in exercises that I did, in forgiveness work that I did, in any kind of uh, tarot readings that I'm doing that I get some, you know, inspiration from and all those kind of things. And then another very big piece is how I take care of my body. What is my input? What is my output? And that's where the 80-20 rule works really, really well for me. I have tried the 100% rule where it's like I only juice for the whole day or I can only do a vegan raw for the whole day and then after three, four days I can have some cooked food or stuff like that. And I just realized it doesn't work for me. What works much better for me is the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 fresh, 20% processed. And then because I start with the fresh food in the morning, I can see how I'm doing throughout the day and then get myself some treats in the evening. So that's working really, really nicely for me. And I see the results, how I'm feeling, how my body feels, how my mind feels, how fresh I am, how relaxed I am, how easily I sleep and all those kind of things. And of course, the more I move, the more I walk and dance and do yoga, the healthier my body is. And I can totally see that as a major result, even in just two weeks. So I'm super excited about where everything is going. I have uh, some major visitors coming here in the next few weeks. That's going to be very, very exciting. So lots of family time, lots of fun time, and I'm just enjoying being out here in the desert. Alrighty, that's my check-in for now, and I talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.